blow up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So with the NFL schedule coming out in like days from now, let's have a little bit of fun. Uh, in this video, we're going to have just an extremely fun topic going over my top five Falcons games I have ever watched as a Falcons fan since 2015. So I should note that these games are only 2015 and beyond. There's no games before that because I wasn't watching the Falcons before that. Uh, I, and I think at this point, a lot of you guys are aware of that, that I was a Falcons fan since 2015, but I still wanted to point that out. Uh, by the way, it's, 2015 is about to be 10 years ago. So that's kind of cool yet sad that it's about to be 10 years being a Falcons fan, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go over some honorable mentions first, and then we'll go over the list starting right now. So the first honorable mention is the Falcons vs. Saints Thursday Night Football 2017. Didn't quite make the list, but this was an amazing, thrilling ending, uh, because for one thing, we beat the New Orleans Saints. Two, we had our Color Rush jerseys, which I don't know why we're not wearing those anymore. That was like one of the cooler things I've ever seen in the NFL. Uh, and then, you know, three, like, it was not really our debut in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, but it was one of the first few nighttime games, and it just looked awesome to be in that new stadium, uh, and, you know, the team knew that playoff, uh, the playoffs was getting kind of close, and they didn't really want to miss, because the Panthers and Saints were, like, doing well in their division as well, so they were really wanted to win that game. Point is, that was an amazing game, but it didn't quite make the list. The other game that didn't make the list is also a Falcons and Saints game. Falcons vs. Saints at New Orleans in 2019. So this game was actually a blowout. Uh, but why is this game, at least on the honorable mentions, other than we blew out the New Orleans Saints, which is obviously one positive. Well, honestly, I could honestly say that this is the funniest game I have ever watched as a Falcons fan. Because all over the 2019 offseason, when I started this channel, people thought I was like joking about it, but I kept on predicting that this would happen. I've been saying this in every prediction video, and I still think it'll happen here. With a loud stadium on a Thanksgiving night, and a team that wants to get revenge after what happened last year, and the Saints traveling on a Thursday night. We all know what road games are like when it's on Thursday. The road team usually doesn't win. Falcons will absolutely demolish the Saints. That is no biased thought. I think this actually happens. Good luck trying to change my mind on this, because you won't. Not that I think you'd want to, but still. First off, yeah, I'm, I'm literally cringy as hell uh, at 20 years old when I made that. But two, um... So technically the only thing I got wrong is that the Falcons blew out the Saints and didn't allow them to get a touchdown in New Orleans. I was saying that it was gonna happen in Atlanta on Thanksgiving, but point is it was still so freaking funny that the Falcons were like, what, one and seven? And the Saints were seven and one, somewhere around there. And uh, everyone's like, yeah, I don't think they're gonna blow out the Saints. And it's just so freaking funny because the Falcons did blow out the Saints and they didn't give them a touchdown. That's just like the funniest freaking thing ever. So I wanted to put that as an honorable mention. And the other honorable mention is actually another Falcons and Saints game. Falcons vs. Saints at New Orleans 2021. So this is on the honorable mentions uh, because we shouldn't have made it this close, but hey, we won the game and it was an amazing when in the end, just seeing Matt Ryan and Cordero Patterson light it up in the end and Young Wei Koo just being the goat he is. And that was a, that was a fun game to watch. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't have been that close, but it was a good game to watch. And, oh, we beat the New Orleans Saints. And the last honorable mention, yeah, I know, right away you're already a little triggered, but I'll explain. The Falcons versus the Packers NFC Championship game 2016 or technically it happened in 2017, but 
Uh, all right, so why is this game not on the list? Because honestly, I was really only able to watch like the fourth quarter of the game. Uh, I, I was at this like high school football thing, like as most of the game was uh, like being played. And uh, to be honest with you, I didn't want to be there. Like I, I kept just like looking at my phone over and over because I was like in the seats and like listening to people talk and boring stuff. And like as people were just talking about our season and how it went and blah, blah, blah. Oh, this player did so good, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't paying any attention. I just was like checking my phone. I was like, oh my gosh, we're actually going to the Super Bowl. Uh, and then finally, like I rushed home. I freaking rushed home. I did not want to waste any time. I was just rushing to get home to just see at least the fourth quarter of the game. And I did. So that's why it doesn't make the list because I wasn't really able to see most of the game. But I mean, hey, we made the Super Bowl. So should at least be an honorable mention. All right, but now let's finally get on to the top five games that I actually just saw everything of. Uh, and uh, here we go. Now, number five is actually a playoff game for the Falcons. It was the Falcons versus Seahawks divisional round 2016 slash 17. So this one I actually did see. Uh, and uh, honestly, really, it made the list because, I mean, hey, it's a playoff win. And it was one step ahead to get us to the Super Bowl. Uh, it was just cool to see us beat the Legion of Boom. It was my first playoff win I ever saw the Falcons have. Uh, it was actually the first playoff Falcons game I've ever seen, I think. Uh, and so, yeah, it was. That was the first ever playoff Falcons game I've ever seen. So obviously, I'm excited. And then we won and beat the living snot out of the Seahawks. It felt great because everyone thought the Seahawks were going to win. Uh, and yeah, that was awesome. Uh, number four is the Falcons versus Panthers in 2022. The one at Atlanta, of course. Not the Thursday night one where Marcus Mariota like was on his back and did that weird throw. Uh, so my reaction video that a lot of you guys saw when the game was over and I made my reaction video. Oh boy, I went a little crazy. I will admit, I maybe let out some words I shouldn't have. <laughs> Halloween Panthers! Fuck you! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I, I cannot even breathe. Oh! <laughs> but uh, I think we all can agree that when our sports team wins, we probably get a little emotional. So I'm sure I'm not alone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was that was. Man, I know in the reaction video I said that was the craziest game I've ever seen. You know, looking back at it, I mean, obviously it still makes the list. It's one of the craziest games I've ever seen, but there's a reason it's not number one. But uh, nonetheless, it was an amazing game. Uh, one reason it kind of hit home for me is because growing up, the Panthers in the beginning were my most hated rival because the Saints weren't really all that good in the beginning. And the Panthers had like Cam Newton dabbing and going to the Super Bowl. And, you know, everyone in my family was purposely making me mad that the Panthers were doing so good. And I was getting so angry. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want the Panthers to be good. So at the time, my most hated rival was the Panthers. And then the Panthers, you know, just weren't really making anything competitive with us. And I was like, okay, hey, I don't really know if I even hate this team anymore. And I'm hoping that fingers crossed that this game put, you know, it lit up the rivalry again. I actually want this rivalry to live again. It looks like the Panthers are heading in the right direction with Bryce Young and that coaching staff they got in. So I, all I'm saying is this rivalry might be something entertaining. I mean, I don't want the Panthers to win. I wasn't saying I want the Panthers to win. I'm just saying like, you know, I just want this to be a little more competitive. Uh, is all I'm really trying to say. But yeah, that game versus the Panthers, it made me kind of feel like I was going back in time. And I was like, it makes me feel like I hate them again. And it was a competitive, just all around great game. Marcus Mariota uh, costing us the game. And then the Panthers kicker just giving it right back to us and going into overtime. Man, what a game. Number three is uh, one that my brother is not going to like, but the Falcons versus Dolphins in 2021. Hey! 
Alright, so mainly the reason this makes the list is because it was my team beating my brother's team. It's a little brother rivalry. That's really the sole reason it's on here. But, uh, honestly, other than that, I mean, it was a good game. Like, just back and forth, you know, the Falcons, you know, had the lead. And then they started choking. And then they actually ended up winning in the end. But, uh, yeah, that was another game that I saw in person. So, obviously, that's a plus just seeing a Falcons win in person. Uh, and I will admit that I think another reason that this game makes the list is because of the amazing memories I made before and after that game in Miami. And the thing is, I hate Miami, actually. I'm not a big fan of the city of Miami, but when I'm on vacation, it's a blast. And just remembering that game and being in Miami, admittedly, I think puts it a little higher on this list. Uh, just, you know, getting ready for that game while walking around Miami and then seeing that game, just the Falcons having a thrilling win, and then finishing it out with like a cool neon lit Miami Beach like moment. Yeah, that, that's why it makes the list. And it was also cool because the Falcons freaking never beat the Dolphins until that game happened. Number two is the Falcons versus Panthers at Atlanta in 2015. Now, this one I'm surprised wasn't number one. Uh, now, it does kind of go back to when I was growing up, the Panthers at the time were my most hated rival because they were winning. And one reason this hits home is because how ironic is it that the one team to beat the 14-0 Panthers was the Falcons. Uh, so that just felt nice. Like, everyone was making fun of me over the year. Like, how, how do you feel that the Panthers are dabbing and going their way to the Super Bowl? And I was just like, okay, I at least walked away as a champion versus the Panthers. So that was one cool thing. Uh, it just felt like a sweet little revenge after making them after them making me mad. Um, but the main reason it's on this list is because, well, it was my first ever Falcons game. That was my first ever Falcons game. And what a freaking way to have your first game. And it was the one and only time I saw the Georgia Dome. So I'm thankful I at least saw it. And then Julio Jones jumping over Luke Keekley. Uh, I still have that framed on my wall uh, in this very house. Like I still have a frame of Julio Jones jumping over Luke Keekley because I just want to remember my first game. Uh, and uh, that was just amazing. And the last other note is when I was at that game, there were two Panthers fans. Like, basically, until Julio Jones jumped over Luke Keekley, they were kind of trash-talking. I didn't turn around and say anything, but I just hurt them. Like, they were like, yeah, you know, Roddy White's washed. Oh, Julio Jones, they say he's the best receiver in the league, but, you know, he, he's not doing anything, blah, blah, blah. Like, they were just being cocky. And even my dad commented on it, like, when we were going back home. Like, he was like... Have you noticed that, like, after Julio Jones scored, like, those Panthers fans didn't even say a word? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you're right. They didn't really say anything. And so, uh, yeah, that, that was a great first game. And then the number one game, I have to put the Falcons versus Eagles in 2019. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Uh, now, there's so many things that go into this. For one thing, it just felt nice to work my way to finally see a Falcons game. Because, like, my first game was the Falcons versus Panthers 2015. And then I haven't really seen a game in, like, a long time. And I was just missing seeing just the Falcons live. And I was like, I really want to see another game. And so I just worked my way to just get the money and go get the tickets to the game. Uh, and what a game to see. It was... Actually, the first ever road trip with just me and my brother ever, actually. Like, that was the first ever road trip without my parents or friends, anyone. It was literally just me and him. Uh, and it was just kind of, it was an awesome feeling to just, like, go from where we were at in Florida to go to Atlanta and just see, also, my first ever Mercedes-Benz Stadium game and my first ever primetime game. Uh, and that was amazing to see. Um, and the game was just thrilling. Julio Jones, yet again, winning the game for us. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I was, I was 
working on this amazing project, uh, like this little comic, it's not a digital comic, it was like a handwritten comic and I was working on it and just working on that memory while waiting on that game also puts it a little high up there. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, did I forget to mention a thousand times that I met my good friend Archangel, my boy, at this game? That's an amazing memory and I'm grateful to meet him. And we also have to meet up again if we are to go to another Falcons game. If there's anyone else that wants to meet up, literally, like, let's do it. But I have to find out what Falcons game I'm even going to. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, like, like I'm excited for more Falcons games. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, what are your favorite Falcons games? And uh, stay safe. Love and appreciate you all for the support. Rise up.